Hello everyone. How exciting that the Super Basin journey continues as we travel from continent to continent and basin to basin. And today, how wonderful to have a session at the Mid-Continent Meeting on the Great Anandarko Super Basin. So, Linda Sternbeck, VP of Sections, had a vision this year that she wanted to focus on content and the wonderful things happening in the sections. So we've had other Super Basin special meetings at the Fort Worth section. And I'm here with Linda in the Eastern section, which is why, unfortunately, we cannot be with you today. But we're doing a Super Basin session. How about that? Of the Appalachian Basin. And we've had a lot of great programs, probably 15 or more programs in the last four years with 5,000 attendees. And you may recognize yourself or a friend in these photos. And please take a group photo of your session and so we can add it when I file my AAPG annual report for Super Basin activities because we need to show some of the good things happening in the mid continent section as well. Why do we study these great basins? Well, look at these connecting lines. I think of them as neural networks of a global consciousness of the world's greatest basins. Each one has something special. And the Anandarko is clearly one of those. And when I was an undergraduate at Columbia University, one of the things that I really took to heart was the phrase, the best geologist has seen the most rocks. And as we study each and every basin, we learn more things that we can use for this global revitalization for energy. And APG has an important role to play. There are resources for you. You have access to some great material. I'd like to recognize Dr. Claudio Bartolini, my co-editor. We are putting together a series of bulletin special issues in the APG bulletin, and we're featuring as many of the Great Basins as we can. So check your bulletins, and there are a few more coming. And in the last APG special issue bulletin in June of 2021, we had a great article by Rick Fritz and John Mitchell, your co-chairs today. You don't want to miss this. This is a, if you haven't already seen it, what a great detailed understanding and insights into the Anandarko Basin. And a few other good papers in there too. I'd like to point out Bill Fairhurst and his work and Bob Lindsay and Tom Ewing on the West Texas uh, Permian Super Basin. And there is an introduction in there about selected case studies that yours truly has participated in. And the other papers are pretty good too. Andy Pepper on uh, the great source rocks of the world, the Middle East, and North Alaska Super Basin, which is very exciting too. So in my presentation at the Halbert e. Lecture here at IMAGE, where I'm recording this message to you, and in my paper, you can see the reference down at the bottom in one of the bulletins, we have a paper that talks about super basin thinking and the toolkit. And if you're interested in learning more about super basins, I would refer you to that paper. But you can see the various things that we have learned from studying super basins over these last several years. So with that, I wish you a great conference. There is the Anandarko. You're in the middle of a constellation of super basins. We want to take the lessons that you have to share and share them with the world. And we want to take lessons from these other basins. And we have a new book. If you're interested in building on the shoulders of giants, APG has a new a memoir on giant fields, 2010, 2020, continuing the Michelle T. Albany tradition. And this is important. If you want to immerse yourself in analogs and study super basins and we have many video recordings on APG webpage so you have my permission to go ahead and do a screen capture or take a photo of these web links so that you can access this information and a lot of it is also on the APG Division of Professional Affairs website. So final words the greatest source of renewable energy. As we look at these basins, I want to leave you with the thought that the best geoscientist has seen the most rocks, immersed in the most analogs, and has listened to many viewpoints. 
it's important to think at many scales and that is where we get a lot of insights our heritage you me all of us as we write about the things we learn lifts us all and as we are fortunate through APG data pages, we can go back in time. So not only are we flying a plane around all these super basins, we have Wi-Fi on that plane that connects us to the greatest minds that have come before us. And we need to contribute for the great minds that will come after us as well. And so the greatest energy source is the energy within all of us. Thank you. Have a great conference. And I can't wait to hear all about it.